Hi, I'm Miranda Mulligan. I work for the Boston Globe. I am the design director for digital. So I kind of oversee the presentation um, of, our, of our content in, for Boston.com, BostonGlobe.com, and a variety of our different mobile offerings. The Globe decided that we were going to take on a new project right around the time that I started and build a website for a, a group of users that had indicated that they wanted a premium product of just Glo Boston Globe content. Responsive Design is a uh, interaction design solution that allows you to have um, all of your site controlled from one code base. So the way that gains some efficiencies, it means that if we want to create a mobile experience, we don't have to go and design a whole mobile side of things. If we want to make updates or changes, then we have to, um, we can do that from one universal place and then it just kind of makes changes in all those places. We don't have to have uh, rely on users to go to the um, app marketplaces or the iTunes store or something like that and then download an update. When we want to update things, it just kind of pushes it forward. One of the main advantages to this uh, design approach is that we're going to be able to put content wherever you are. Most people go to stories via a browser anyways. You're flipping through Twitter, you click on a URL, it's going to open it up into a browser. And if you're doing that on your phone, if you're doing that on your tablet, we wanted to make sure that we were able to kind of serve an optimized experience in a kind of consistent way um, in the way that people are using things. And we wanted to be able to make sure that we could get content to you no matter where you are. And because responsive design uses progressive enhancement techniques, um, you're always going to get a very basic experience no matter what. And then we just kind of enhance on top of that and add based on what your phone or your, or your browser's capabilities are, you'll be able to get more of a rich storytelling experience that way. It does mean that sometimes um, responsive design is very democratic um, and it means that we don't necessarily fully utilize everything that an iOS um, device might be capable of doing. Um, we, we detect for whether or not it's touch, um, but we don't necessarily detect for every single thing that that particular device can really do. I don't necessarily see this as being a, a, a disadvantage. It's, this is the browser, um, this is the browser experience that we're offering people. It doesn't preclude the fact that we won't necessarily build iPad specific experiences for people or iPhone specific experience ex experiences or even some Droid experiences for people. We just haven't gotten there yet. Last year, the Globe had been doing an investigation on offenders and lawyers and judges around OUI arrests and how people were getting off of having to pay any kind of um, real fines or do any real time around the this thing. And they were doing kind of a, a, um, a big investigation around it. And we got um, a big dump of uh, audio files and transcripts from these trials where you would actually hear somebody from what seemed to be kind of an egregious um, and quite obvious moment where they would end up uh, being arrested or and also having to do time or pay massive fines or, or kind of have to pay penance in some kind of way against um, driving drunk and then finding a way to get off. So we get these trial transcripts and we weren't really sure what to do with them. And so um, one of the designers and programmers in the newsroom uh, came up with a kind of design construct around that allowed you to kind of go through the transcripts. So it's not only written, but also you can listen to them and just hit play. So we built a little player um, that allows you to read and listen at the exact same time through a transcript and it kind of really helps it resonate a little bit deeper that this is kind of an egregious thing that these people were getting off. And so he came up with a really clever design solution because we don't, uh, you know, there's a lot of content to be able to uh, help a user to get through and then you have to find a way to have that be a good experience on mobile, a good experience on tablet, and a good experience on desktop and to be able to kind of be able to do that. So he came up with a pretty clever design solution around that. 